Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows PIN error code 0x8004015 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So I imagine it's going to definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu. Type in update, best match, come back for check for updates. Go ahead and open that up and then see if there are any available updates on your computer in which there are. Go ahead and actually install them and then restart your device and see if that resolves the problem. Something else we can try here as well. If we open up the search menu, type in run, best match, go back with run. Go ahead and open that up. And now I will have a file path in the description of the video. And the only difference in your case, the first letter here says C which is the drive letter that Windows is installed on on my computer. But if Windows is installed on a different drive letter, you might want to swap out the C with a different drive letter that pertains to your particular device. And then you would select OK. I don't have this particular folder on my computer, but if I did, I would delete all the entries in this NGC folder that would appear. So just highlight over everything, right click and delete, or tap the delete key on your keyboard or whatever preferred way you have to delete files. So anything underneath the NGC folder, you just highlight over everything and delete it. Control A basically to highlight everything and then just delete. So pretty straightforward on that. And then once you're done with that, you would close out of that and open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, go back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I will recommend that you guys create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and Import and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing for Policies. So double click on that. Same thing for the Microsoft folder under here. And now there should be a Windows folder. Double click on that. And now you want to look for a System folder. Just left click on that one time. If you don't see a system folder in here, you may have to right click on the Windows folder, select new and then key and you would name it system. As you see on my screen. And then on the right side, you want to create a D word value in here. It says allow domain pin logo as you see on my screen. So first letter of each word should be capitalized and then PIN should all be capital there. In order to create this value, you just would right click in a blank area, select new and then D word 32 bit value. And again, you would name it allow domain pin logo as you see on my screen. Double click on it and you set the value data to one. So just type the number one in there. Select OK. And then once you have it, as you see on my screen, go ahead and close out of the registry editor and restart your computer. And there you go. So hopefully that should have been a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.